between and there might be just a little bit of echo in today's video but that is because I went to film this video with the window open so that the breeze could come in I would have beautiful ambient sound in the background and most importantly I wouldn't have sweated my dick off because where I'm filming it's like 133 degrees in this boxed room but the second I went to go hit record my neighbor decided to mow their lawn and if you guys wanted a lawnmower just to completely be the background noise I mean I can do that but I really don't think it would have sounded the greatest so I guess we're just gonna have to deal with the fact that I'll sound like probably I'm underwater for this entire video. But that's okay, it's minor details because today I'm doing and reviewing a video that I've been wanting to film since I heard about this product because I'm in love with it. But because I live where I live, it took a little bit longer for us Canadians to get our hands on this product. But I finally found this product at a drugstore. I scooped it up and I've been waiting all day to test out these babies and it is the L'Oreal Miss Manga Lashes Mascara and I don't know why I've been so obsessed with this product because I mean it's mascara and mascara is probably my least favorite of the beauty products in the whole realm of makeup and cosmetics but I've been watching videos and it seems to be a pretty good product especially for us girls who have almond shaped eyes I have very tiny eyes and so for them to look big and beautiful it takes a lot of great mascara so hopefully this stuff does the trick and hopefully it was well worth the eight bucks that I spent for it if you want to know I got it in 373 black and I tend to always go with black mascaras just because it works better with my coloring so without further ado guys this is my review for some manga mascara so the packaging is pretty cute like I'm gonna have to give it to L'Oreal their packaging really suckered me in with the little panda and the cute little lashes that it has, I just think that it is adorable. And even the mascara itself is kind of nice. Like, I like the pink. I can't lie. L'Oreal is a higher-end drugstore makeup, and it does tend to have some pretty good quality stuff. I have a few L'Oreal mascaras and they've never really steered me wrong. For a drugstore mascara and for just a drugstore brand, I really do like L'Oreal. So let's open her up, shall we? Alright guys, so I'm going to open this up to see what the wand looks like because I forget. I did watch videos but I forget. And I feel like it was a cool wand. Okay, maybe not. I thought for some reason that the wand itself was like a really big selling point, but to me, it just looks like a generic wand. So let's see if it will actually do the trick. And she says, I wish that I could be like the cool kids. for the lashes. I think it's doing a pretty good job with making just my whole eye seem brighter and wider. And I mean, manga styled makeup is always supposed to make your eyes look huge. And I think I went into expectations of literally my eyeballs being massive, but that's just never going to work. But for the actual mascara, it's doing a pretty good job and there's nothing on my lower lashes. So already I'm kind of digging it and I know that I said it clumped a little bit but as soon as I kind of went over it one more time the clumps disappeared and there are literally no clumps in my lashes and I don't know about you guys but clumpy mascara to me is just so tacky that is a definite plus and I feel like all L'Oreal mascaras don't really clump I can't remember any of them actually doing that but I'm gonna go ahead now and put on some mascara on my bottom lashes So there is the one eye with some mascara on the bottom lashes and there is the other eye with 
out any mascara. And because I tried, I tried to like wing it out at the bottom like they would in a manga style cartoon. And I really like this makeup. So I just did both sets, top and bottom. And I do think that the lashes itself look very long, clump free, and it does make my eyes look huge. I'm going to do a close up right now. So you guys can see just how big my eyes do look. And I will say that the product itself is really cute. I love the packaging. I love the whole style of what it's trying to achieve. Do I think that you could probably achieve the same look with a different mascara? Obviously, if you just winged out your bottom lashes a lot with mascara. To be honest, this was only one coat for my bottom lashes, and they're super long, and it was two coats for my top, which are huge. My eyelashes, to me, feel like they're a mile long, and I absolutely love it. And I really do think that it just makes my eyes look so much brighter. So... With that being said, I definitely love this product and I definitely am happy that I purchased it and I will be using this a whole lot, especially on those mornings that I feel extra tired and my eyes just look really heavy. I will definitely use this to make them look brighter and more awake and open and just popped. That's what I feel like this does. It pops them out. So I definitely give this my seal of approval. Go pick this up if you want these kind of lashes. I absolutely love it. Alright guys, so that is it. Hopefully you like this review video. It's the first time I've ever really reviewed a beauty product, so I feel awkward. I didn't know what to do with my hands through this whole video because I haven't really done a makeup review ever. So hopefully I did a good job and hopefully I gave you some information and I gave you a true kind of look to see what this mascara can do for you. So give this video a big likes up if you want me to do more reviews on makeup products and if you haven't already you can join the anti-movement all you have to do is hit that subscribe button right down below and we can become friends and then I'll go follow your channel and it'll just be a big YouTube friendship between you and I and until next time guys I'll catch you on the flippy flop bye